All right, what's going on guys? It's been a little while. Uh, I had a request to do a video on how to set up the trans brake button and uh, all that for the Holly system. So basically I'm gonna go through that real quick. So on mine, I use a ground to the, uh, to the button here. So basically fall these wires down, it comes out the back here and I've got it grounded right there to the uh, chassis. Uh, that may not be the greatest way of doing it. You may want to have a ground come from the battery up here or something, but it works pretty good right here straight to the chassis. As you can tell, I grounded some of the uh, metal off to get a good ground. And then from there, you're going to go to a uh, to a input on the holly. So basically, one side of the button will be to a ground or a hot, whichever one you're using. And then when you press the button, it'll, it'll go through the button and go over to your holly input so you're going to, have to use an input on the holly your input wires are all going to be white with a stripe and your output wires going to be gray with the stripe i do believe that's right uh, if it's not i'll i'll correct myself but uh basically on mine i use a ground so i have to make sure that the input that i'm using can accept the ground i'm pretty sure every input on the holly will take a ground so then it runs into there for a ground. We'll go into the holly and set that up uh, to tell the computer, hey, this is a trans brake function and we need an output now. So when I press the button, the holly has to take care of the output. So now I have a wire coming out of the output. I can't think off the top of my head if it's a pulse width modulated output. I believe it is because, actually no it's not because I, I think the uh, bump function is pulse width modulated. Uh, when I get to the uh, computer part of it, I'll look through that and make sure. But you're gonna have a wire coming out, out of that and go into a relay. And that relay just wires up normal. You will need a solid state relay if you are using a bump function. If not, it will not pulse with modulate correctly. And you'll have all kinds of issues. Uh, I don't even know if it'll actually work. It may or may not uh, with the standard relay. But we use the uh, Holly solid state relay. It's just a three wire setup. And I know it says you have to use a hot output, but you can wire it to where it can use a ground output. Uh, if you just look around the internet, it'll show you how to wire up a relay for ground or hot. I mean, basically it's just swapping a few wires around. Um, so right now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna jump into the Holly part of it. And I'll go over that with you real quick. Like I said, the gray wires are your output and the white wires are your inputs. Now that I'm saying all this, everything I'm talking about is through a J1 connector for the Holly HP. On the Dominator, you may have some other stuff going on, so they, the colors may be different between the gray and the white as far as input and output. So uh, just be aware of that. I am gonna put a link down in the description to a place where you can see the inputs and outputs of the J1 connector from the Holly HP. So that way you know which ones will take uh, uh, what function out and in. So if, if one of the outputs will do pulse width modulated positive and some will only do pulse width modulated negative, uh, some will only do ground output, some will only do a hot 12 volt output. So you need to be aware of all those things. Like I said, down in the description below will be a link to that so you can check that out. I got a quick little diagram here for you. Uh, as I was saying, I got a ground to the car on the chassis. Press the button, it goes through, and that ground goes to an input on the Holly J1 connector. Any of the inputs that can be grounded will work. Then coming on the output, I use a pulse width modulated, and the reason why I do that is because I got a bump function and also inputs, and when it hits, it'll pulse width modulate the uh, solid state relay. But you can use a pulse width modulated positive or negative it's your choice, you just gotta wire the relay a little bit different. But if you're using a solid state Holly relay, you're gonna run that wire to the black and yellow wire on the Holly solid state relay. And then you're gonna have your orange wire, if you're doing pulse width modulated positive, then you're gonna go to the positive on your battery terminal. If you're using a negative, you're gonna use the negative terminal. And then your output's gonna go down on your transmission where the uh, actual trans brake is on the transmission. And you're gonna wire that up to that the wire and that's basically all there is to that all right now that I went over the wiring stuff I'm gonna go into the Holly v4 software this isn't the v5 the v5 is a little bit different as and they've simplified this a little bit but I haven't went into the v5 so I can't 
go on and explain that just yet so here's the v4 so basically we're going to come in over here and we're going to go to our input outputs over here to the left you'll see where it says inputs you're going to come over here and right about there it says number two which is my trans brake is what i got labeled the type is i went down through here clicked on that and i selected ground because that's what i'm using it's a ground input you're going to go as you can tell right here i'm using j1 connector a4 ecu pin and you got to enable it so you'll click enable and then you're going to come up to the top and go to your pin map your pin map i'll basically have an unassigned input area and that will be up here the one we just enabled will be up in your unassigned you're going to take it click it you're going to drag it down to whatever input you're using see i'm using pin a4 so i'll drag it all the way down to here and right there's trans break as you can tell it says g for ground because everything's ground now i also have my two-step wired in with that so how did i do that basically i went to rev limiter number one and watch how you get to that is you go to your efi uh, box up there then you're going to connect to ignition parameters and then you're going to come over here to rev limiter number one. You're going to enable it. Uh, type spark only cut. Then you're going to choose where you want it to come on and off at. Now after you enable that, again, you go back to your input and output. Or your pin map, I mean. And then it's going to be up in your unassigned area. And you're going to drag it down with your trans brake. So that way it knows to come on with the trans brake. So now you got your two step. So then you're going to go over and click done. Now you're going to check your outputs because we got our input going in now because we got our trans brake to the ground, A4 connector, we enabled it. Now we're going to come over here and go to output. So our output, as you can see, it says trans out right there, trans out. And I got it selected at pulse width modulated positive. And I got it on my J1 B12 pin output. I enabled it. Again, you'll go to your pin map and where it says view outputs, it'll pop up here. Right there, B12 output number one, pulse width modulated positive, P plus, trans out. I took it and I drug it down. That's how you got that. So that's taken care of. And uh, let me see on the configure, how you might have to do it, yeah. You gotta configure the, uh, the switch input triggers. So you got number of, of triggers is one. And you're going to come down here it says this output will activate when the trans brake button is enabled right there so basically when you push down the trans brake button now it knows that you need that it needs to put out a hot signal to the trans brake so it goes to the trans brake and then after that it also knows that when you're on that button to have the two-step so as you can tell it's pretty basic pretty simple uh, there's not a whole lot to it, so I hope this guys helps you out. Uh, if you have any more questions, ask them below. I'll try to answer them real quick. Uh, I'm also going to have some links down below on some other things that may help you with this situation. But until next time, until next time, guys, we'll see you later.